who will grab that all-important foxhole shot. About 100 metres down to turn one, this unique drop-in start at Matchley Basin. Everybody away. Perfect grip there, apart from one rider just in the background there. Not sure who that was, but... Round the outside and through the middle. Oh, who was it? Was it 303, Albi Ferrato, or was it Jorge Prado? Well, he's right there, but it's Prado who leads going into turn three. Ferrato is now being pushed back to fourth. Two Yamahas coming by him in the form of possibly Glenn and Jeremy Siwa. In fact, all three of them right there inside the top five positions. But where is Maxim Renault, the heat race winner from yesterday, your pole man? Well, it's Siwa and Koldanoff that are right there, Ferrato, and then Maxim Renault in fifth place. Then we've got Ruben Fernandez and Jed Beaton just ahead of him on the Kawasaki. So uh, Renault just behind Ferrato here. Oh, Fernandez! How did he stay up? Well, he doesn't stay up. Backhand came around on him. He lost the total control. And Fernandez is down and out of what, sixth or seventh place? Watch this here. Go up the wrong side of the rut, bounced off of Ferrato. Ferrato built like a proverbial brick house. And Fernandez sent sprawling to the deck. Working our way towards the end of this lap then. And it's Prado who leads. Jeremy Siwa second. Glenn Koldanoff third. Alberto Ferrato is fourth. Geiser is fifth. He has found his way past Maxim Renault, who is now in sixth, but the Frenchman looking to charge down the inside. minutes plus two laps the MXGP of Great Britain here at Matley Basin about to come to a close who will it be that grabs that all important box hole shot as we charge down into turn one it looks like it's going to be Prado again cold enough around the outside of him in second position see we're in third and then fourth we've got Fernandez then Valentin Guillo in the uh, in the light green arms I think Machenans, or is that Geiser? I think Geiser in there just behind him. Yes, it is. And then he nudges people wide. Where is Maxim Renault? We've got Prado, Siwa. Sorry, Prado, Koldanov, Siwa, Fernandez, Geiser. 12th place at the moment for Maxim Renault. But down the inside, on the right hand side, Tim Geiser up on the pegs. Everybody is going to be mindful of the. The sun that will drop rapidly throughout the course of this race. You'll see the shadows get longer. They've all got peak extensions on, on their visors. Most riders anyway. And Van Horby, what a fantastic start for him. He's in around about sixth place on the STM Corsa Vita. Look at the conditions here now. Long shadows, difficult for the riders, so easy to make mistakes. You heard Glenn Koldenhoff in his pre-grid saying, some places you feel like you're riding blind because the sun is so low, you don't see some of those lines and holes and jump takeoffs. And Lupino, wow. Lupino out again. He didn't finish race one, and he's not even completed a lap in race two. Making our way towards the end of this opening lap in. And it's Prado who leads the way. Koldenhoff second. Siwa third, 